Well, after having this system for about four and a half, five years, this camper with the 100 watt solar panel, that one that just lays up there, the one that, that's like a mat, and then this this GoPro controller, which is, I don't know, I'm not too crazy about this. Especially when you go to lithium, this is not a good system here. So we're uh, looking to change this up. And like you say, right now I'm barely getting any solar, you can see here. Got full sun out there, not direct sunlight, but I'm only getting 0.1 amps and just not getting very much power. And so I'm going to have to replace this system and I've ordered a new system. So we're just going to go through this and tear tear the old system apart. I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to do this yet. I think what I'm going to do is try to get this stuff down and I'm going to put the new controller underneath the dinette couch here in this particular compartment and then basically put a piece of paneling over this just to cover this over where it won't look so bad uh, but uh, well, we're gonna go through this and figure it out and like I say add a better system on this so after pulling this down it's not gonna work out the way I thought it was gonna work out I had thought that maybe the wires were coming from the roof on one side and then going down under the camper to the battery on the other side but it looks like they're both going up up this way so i don't know i guess the one that goes to the battery goes up i'm gonna have to search these wires it looks like maybe over the top so what i can see here it looks like i'm gonna have to if i want to move it from here which i think i need to because i don't really want that big blue blue controller sitting up out here so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna piece put a piece of paneling in this little section right through here and on the back side of it i'm gonna have a terminal board that i'll, I'll terminate put all these terminals and then I'll run another cable down to my seat area and then mount my controller and my breaker down in that area there by my water heater but over here on the far right side so I finally figured out how I'm going to do this uh, as far as putting the solar system in here now I'm going to do my video on a three-part section basically because what it is is I'm going to put the the new controller in and wire it all up and uh then i'm going to the next part is i'm actually at some point i'm going to actually do some more wiring up in here i wanted to put another i'm going to get some 12 volt and i'm going to make some uh hookup over here for my uh Wii boost that i have and also some usb hookups over there so i'm going to do that in a separate video but that's why you see all this stuff out now because i'm kind of pro around checking these wires out so Here's what we're going to do with this one. This one here is what we're going to work on is the actual uh, changing out the controller. And we're going to do that first because we're, our solar panel is not going to come in for about another week and a half. So we're going to do the control, the solar panel or the controller panel first. So we've opened this up here and we got this piece. I'll tell you where I got this piece from here in a second. But we got this piece of paneling that we made. So in order to get a cover for that hole where I'm taking out the old controller I went in here into this compartment in the back of the F FD and you may have other places you might have this kind of paneling that you might have utilized there was a cover that covered these wires and I can understand the reason why you'd want to cover these wires banging around but I don't have a whole lot in this cargo department so I'm not too worried about it if I at some point later I can rebuild something if I want to but I took that piece that was in here like this and I pulled it out and I made my cover for that. So just a way to get that color paneling that I can use and it won't look as bad as if I try to put something else on that for the cover that's gonna go over this like this. And so what we're gonna do is we're going to take these wires loose. We're gonna, we have a special splice setup that's gonna splice them. We're gonna bring them down to the bottom down here. I'm gonna pull up, drill a hole in here and all this gear this here and then also our breaker is all going to be mounted inside of there and I'm using this 10 gauge wire so I went ahead and ordered that so I'm going to make the connectors here coming down and then everything's going to branch out inside of this compartment here this is going to be Bluetooth so I don't need to actually see this compartment uh, it needs to ventilate a little bit but it's usually relatively cool under that seat as long as you don't have anything around it so that's the main thing I'm worried about there but uh we're going to get to working on this here and get it, get the controller in. 
So what I'm doing now is I'm using this big one inch drill here bit and I'm going to drill underneath our dinette seat and give myself enough space to mount it here for the controller. I may actually put the controller on this wall here. I haven't figured that out yet, but I'm going to have to have a hole here no matter what and fish my wires through the wall. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to drill these holes. the hole there and so now we're going to cut two we got our double stranded wire here obviously it runs two wires at a time there as you can see so we're going to run two lengths of this from that hole up there down to here leaving plenty of extra so we can figure out where everything's going to be attached so what I've done here is I've got the two pieces of wire cut. I made one a little longer. You'll see I have white tape on this one here. That way I know which wire has, that's actually going to be from the solar panel. When it comes up here, I'll know which one is going to hook into the far solar panel. And that was the little shorter one. And it'll come down, come out of the hole, and it'll go into this breaker here. That way I can shut off that solar panel if I'm changing out batteries or need to cut off current to that from that solar panel so that's going to go down in here as well and then it will be a small line coming off the bottom of that and going over to the actual uh, controller now the uh, longer one which you can see here I made it a little bit longer about a foot and a half longer probably longer than I need but it's going to come in it'll go directly into where the it says battery on this controller and so that'll be just the bat the one that runs to the battery and that's these two wires right here those are the ones that go to the battery and the way this is in this geopro it's kind of strange it goes up so it must go through the ceiling because i thought it would run around the base but it goes up and over one thing i did i'm not crazy about but there's not a whole lot i can do about it is this controller recommends you put this as close as you can to the battery well I'm a long way, so I'm halfway across the camper. Battery's back in that far left corner right there. But uh, that's the way the other controller works, so we're hoping that that will be fine with this one. But uh, I think we'll be good. But we're going to get in, go in here now, and we're going to weed this through this wall. Hopefully we can get a hold of it at the bottom. i got some needle node pliers. I can reach in there and hopefully grab this cable when it's laying down there and pull it through. Surprisingly enough... We knew I knew it was going to be hard to fish that through that wall, but it wasn't too bad. Uh, try to keep that hole kind of small down here, but if you're having a little bit more difficulty, I guess you could make that hole a little bit bigger. I had to put my finger in there and just kind of move it around up here on top until it finally hit my finger, and then kind of gradually work it through that hole. So it took me probably uh, 10, 15 minutes to get both those lines through there, but they're there. And like I say, that's going to bring our power down to here. And we're just going to have junctions up here and we'll just remove this old panel here and just basically seal it up. So I decided to go ahead and install that against that back panel wall. I don't know bouncing over time if that's going to rip those screws out. We'll have to keep an eye on that. At some point I might just have to put a board back there and mount it to the actual paneling and then mount this to it. But uh, it seems like it's holding up pretty good. Got that on there. So our next step is to put in our, our breaker. That's going to go over here on this far side here somewhere. We're going to put that up on the wall. And that will give us a way of turning off that solar panel. Okay, next we're putting that little rail on. And that rail is where this breaker hooks on to. And if you don't have this covered with something, you probably should have a... There's a special box that these fit in if you're going to have somewhere where someone could put their fingers into it. But this is going to be down underneath here, so I'm not worried about it. When you get ready to put this on here, make sure you back out all your screws to where that, that plate there, that metal piece is in the very back. That way you have a full place to put your cables in. Okay, that got that in place there. So now we're going to take our, we're going to work on our battery cable first. I'm going to twist this around and we're going to cut and trim it to hook into the actual controller and 
Like I say, I'm not worried about, I'm going to hook all this stuff up in here, but normally if you were hooking this up and you had your battery actually hooked up up here, you'd want to hook up this controller first to the battery and leave your solar panel system turned off, run all your switches, and then at the last minute you would turn on your actual switch because you, you want that power to come from your battery to your controller first and then from your solar panel down to the controller at that point. So... Now yeah, I got that all hooked up. Basically, the wires come down here, come into that. That's actually from the solar panel. Uh, I've got a plus and a minus, red and black, and then coming out again, the bottom, red and black, going over to the PV on this, plus and minus, and then the battery has got plus and minus going back out, all the way back up to here. So now we have to put our splices on here. We have these, I don't know, some people say these things are great. Some people don't. The, I think it's the Wago connectors, but that's what we're going to try to use to splice these. It's going to be kind of tough. It's right at the max amount. These are designed for, I think, up to uh, 10 AWG. So we're going to basic look now, and we're curious to see... Right now, with full sun out there, I'm getting a little over half a half an amp. It was 0.7 just a minute ago. We're not getting direct sunlight on that old cable system there, so it just jumped up for the seven. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up the first. We're going to hook up the actual uh, battery to this actual controller, and then we'll actually hook up. Uh, the solar panel, but we're gonna we're gonna check it when we get it all hooked up. So next thing is we're gonna strip these wires back and get these all. So these Wago uh, connectors, you have to make sure you get them all the way in and get them latched down on top of that cable, and then test them to make sure they're they're in there good. Uh, you don't want any wires or frays sticking out. See that one there just came loose, so I got to put that back in there further. And then, like I said, just test them out. And then now we're going to take this stuff off the old controller and hook it into the other side. So I hooked up the first one to the battery to the actual new controller. And right now it's running a, I'm running an actual checkup. First time you hook it up, you'll have to use those six zeros and then you have to change your password. Uh, but it's running actually a uh, new version of the firmware right now. So... We're setting that up before we actually hook up the actual solar panel. So we're going to go ahead and get that update done. Make sure it's working with our phone. So I got it all hooked up there. I had to do some weird stuff because the wires that went to the battery looked like they were actually a heavier gauge than even the 10 gauge that I had. So it looked like maybe even an 8. So I had to trim those down to get them into those into those actual connectors i'm not crazy about these connectors and i had to work with them a little bit still not sure that's where i'm going to go with this but at the very least i'm going to take that whole area there and take some electrical tape and wrap it around there where it doesn't shift around eventually if that doesn't work i'm going to have to do some kind of terminal board up there but uh, having a little bit issue with that but i got it all hooked up now we got our app running we're not really getting actually the sun's popped in so I'm not, i can't get in a, a good connection to see if, if if i'm getting as good as i did before because i'm only draw i'm only getting one watt off the uh solar panel which it wasn't much before anyway but uh it's it shot up to to uh two watts at one point but like I say the sun's gone back in so i'm gonna have to do some more tests on this before i seal all this up but uh we're getting close on the actual um, controller install we got a few more things to work out and I'll get with you toward the end of this to, to tell you what how it all works out and uh, one thing I showed you wrong earlier is that this uh, breaker is actually when it's red is when it's actually on so when it's red is on and when it's green it's off so I was confusing that before so in the up position that breaker is on so that's something I wanted to clarify now because I got that wrong at first and had to run through my system check out one more time because I had kind of done it in reverse order as far as I should have I didn't have I didn't think I had that on so I had to end up redoing it and running power to the actual controller first 
and then from the solar panel so i had to kind of re reset that up okay because i didn't want anything moving around in here i went and taped these really good that way nothing gets moved around in here these connectors should stay put if for some reason it doesn't a disconnect is that way i can find that is and hopefully this will keep it in now i've got to tuck this into the wall and get my cover plate installed so let's go to finish up our project on the uh solar controller and like i say it's underneath there now and it's working pretty good except for our solar panel still needs to be replaced so uh we're real happy with what what it's gonna be and like I say, we'll we'll get that solar panel swapped out and see what we get now. But this this particular controller works so much better than the the original one on here. It's designed for lithium batteries and regular batteries, as for that matter. But it's it actually detects what kind of battery setup you've got and it keeps it charged the way it should be. So, and you it's a little more efficient as far as your solar panel. So we'll we'll see how good it comes out when we get a 200 uh watt panel up there but that'll be our next project uh but uh for now uh we're we're done with this project and i hope this helped you out and and if you want to do something like this on your particular camper so uh we'll see you on another one